so much for joining us for another Sugar Lime Blues Sunday shout out. This has been a retro shout out going Indeed. back out to Christo Strom. Christo Strom. Christo, we hope you re-enjoyed your shout out. Please everybody leave a comment below. Help, help us to hack an algorithm. Hack the algorithm. <laughs> we'll see you next week with another Sugar Lime Blues Sunday shout out. Shout out. Everybody knows I'm a fan of her murdery song. This one's kind of murder indirectly. I mean, it's not. He was. He wasn't the murdering one, but he took the fall he, for the murdering. He didn't do a murder, but he did do a murder himself. He self-murdered. <laughs> well, also she did too, because she could have spoken up at any minute. She didn't. She said a nothing. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't even cry. Good fan of a murder song, good fan of a story song. So, like, yeah. this checks both boxes. It's interesting, like, because the psyche of the song, I think, is pretty. There's a lot of, like, um, he, push and pull. Like, you kind of, like, like, well, they're kind of scoundrels, but then they're kind of, like, they have ethics. <laughs> All scoundrels have ethics. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. I like the song. I like the way that it's... um. It's short, you know. I mean, that is one of the reasons I like it. I wish it was actually a little longer, but I don't know where you'd really go with it. I think it says everything it needs to. Yeah. I like the, um, it's like a, uh, um, 
so he's looking back from the grave, kind of, mm-hmm. and it's like a haunting in reverse. Like, you typically think of hauntings, like, the woman haunting the man, but this is kind of like a well, man haunting Well, she was kind of haunting his grave a little bit. Like, she maybe did. he couldn't rest in peace because she, like... She wouldn't leave him alone. Leave... Well, also, <laughs> also, there's a murderer running loose. Yeah, right. They right. left a murderer just right. out and about. So, yeah. So if anybody should be haunting, it should be the dude that got killed under the town hall light. He should be haunting them because his murderer is still running around. Also goes to show you, well, I mean, it's a story, but... (laughs) First, eyewitness testimony. They say it's the least reliable type of testimony there is. Obviously. So... so The song uh, proves it. Oh, yeah. the, The few at the scene. They all agreed, though. This dude did the killing. I wonder if he has, like, a twin out there. A doppelganger. A doppelganger. Have you ever been told you have a doppelganger? I have. Me too. More in Tennessee. Never before I came to Tennessee, but then in Tennessee I've been told several times that I have a doppelganger. Yeah. So I don't know who this person is, but give me back my looks. (laughs) You can keep mine. (laughs) Too funny. So, yeah, this is a... um, Old country song. Are you a fan? Of the song? Yeah. 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 Especially you singing it. I like oh, to harmonize good. with you. That's so I like much fun. like harmonizing with me. That's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. I wish I could, um, you know, harmonize with the speed and ease that you seem to bring to the game. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got to do something. You, well done. You have all of these instruments that you can play without much looks of effort so i gotta do my part (laughs) hey look i might not be good at what i do but i make it look easy (laughs) (laughs) that is not what i said no you rewind that no (laughs) you do great (laughs) i was just teasing no i was saying for myself no not that you said that i was just saying okay i can do lots of things make them look really easy (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Back on the Martin again this week. Yeah. The number one acoustic. Number one acoustic. Yeah. Talk about this little this little guy here. Oh, uh, what? The little clear patch mm-hmm. that I patched over? Because mm-hmm. I started to rub through because my stroke is too long. I'm like... Uh, follow through. So do you think it's the downstroke that causes this or the um, upstroke or both? I think it's the downstroke. Like, so I got through the finish and started to hit the wood that I didn't want to go like the whole full Willie Nelson... Look, oh, he's got a very. I mean, he's guitar. like got the whole sound holes like cut away, and he's got a hole. And, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool that they make a clear thing. Is this for that? Yeah, it's like a well, it's a clear pick guard. So, I just cut it down. Like you can actually, it's a cut out pick guard, so you can cut out whatever you want. It's just a clear um, pick guard type material, and basically, like some people don't like pick guards, so they would take this off and put a clear pick guard on. Okay. So then it would just look like an acoustic guitar. You know, with, with no pick, and you can kind of see it probably if the light hits it right, and probably more so now that it's been on there a long time because it clicks dirt around the, around edge. the edge, yeah. So, um, but I mean, from a lot of angles, I can't even see it, so I mean, it's pretty good. Um, it's a neat little, it's a neat, it's got a story it from it's wearing. Got a story. You can see that I've started to get some of the Willie Nelson stuff to a T from picking hard down into it. Like it's now, could you put like part of that pit guard thing there, or it does it not really go? Probably there? not really stick. Not meant to go over the edge. I'm sure they make some type of little gasket for that you can probably put there. But hey, character. 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 As long as it sounds good, and it does. I think it sounds good. I do too. 